Hey, welcome to the Corona Public Library. I'm Miss Christina. Today, we're going to be reading Poppy, Buttercup, Bluebell, and Dandy, written by Fiona Woodcock. On top of a hill, not far from here, live Poppy and her friends. There's Dandy and Bluebell and bright little Buttercup. Together they run wild, spreading sunshine wherever they go. One morning, Poppy woke up with a strange tingling feeling. It fluttered in her tummy and shivered the tips of her petals. Hop on your wheels, Blossom, she said. We've got to head to the city. It wasn't long before they saw the sun. Buttercup's glow lit up the words. Today's the day, last park in the city to be closed. We have to save the park, cried Poppy. But where is it, said Dandy. The city is so big. How will we ever find our way? Follow me, said Poppy. If we go higher up, we can look for the park. Keep climbing, Buttercup, said Dandy breathlessly. We're near there, called Bluebell. We made it, said Poppy. Can anyone see the park? But then, stop, cried Poppy. Now what are we going to do, said Dandy, who wished they could go home. Well, said Poppy, it looks like there's only one way to go up. And it's down. Bluebell edged her skateboard forward. Ooh, this'll be fun, she grinned. Whee! It's soft but very smelly, said Bluebell, giggling as she landed in the dump. Picking themselves up, four friends sped through the alleys and down dim streets. The wheels on their skateboards whirled. Come on, whooped Poppy. The park has to be just around the corner. Whoa, a car, shouted Poppy. Quick, this way. They scrambled to safety, up, up, and up. Where does it end, asked Dandy, as Buttercup lit the way. At the, at the, at last, they reached the top. They could see the park, but now it was far, far below. I'm tired, said Dandy. There must be a way down there, said Poppy. I'm sure of it. But how, said Buttercup. Quick, grab hold, called Bluebell. This is fun. They landed in just the right place to run wild and spread their sunshine. Let's go to work, said Poppy. So they did, just like that and a whole lot more. When the Blossoms arrived back home after their adventure, they turned and saw just how far their magic had spread. Poppy's petals tingled once more. Hey, Blossoms, we did that, she said and smiled. We did it together, said Dandy and Bluebell and Bright Little Buttercup. The end. So thanks for stopping by and see you next time.